I drew this piece after I saw a photo of a mama polar bear snuggling her cub. It was such a tender moment and I wanted to capture it and what it means to me. It spoke to me as a mother and an artist. I am a mother, I have a daughter and a son. And as mothers, we protect our children and will do whatever possible to keep them safe. From womb to adulthood, we watch over them and guide them. This includes lots of love and making good choices for a healthy lifestyle and healthy living. As an artist, I wanted to add aspects to the piece that include my indigenous culture. As indigenous people, we have resiliency and strength in us. This is a reflection in my piece of what I experienced in life and also the community. Living in an indigenous community, we offer support when we can, love and encouragement. I hope that this piece speaks to you also. Pregnancy is sacred. For a strong future generation, no alcohol during pregnancy. I call this piece Boshun Lovik, meaning her heart is good. That saying has different meanings, one being that she is giving thanks, and another is that she maintains a healthy lifestyle to ensure that her baby is strong and healthy too. Avoiding alcohol during pregnancy is crucial because those small actions, whether positive or negative, will impact the rest of that child's life. It is pertinent that everyone does their part in caring for their child and keeping them safe from any kind of harm even before they are born. Everyone in the pregnant mama circle can do their part to support and encourage a safe, alcohol-free pregnancy. Working and living the everyday roles of tribal life, sedentary life was unknown, so there was no time for idleness and substance abuse. In college, I learned that alcohol wasn't a part of native life, pure European contact. However, Datura and Jimson were used as a rite of passage and used ceremonially with great respect. It wasn't a common occurrence for tribal peoples to use it on a regular basis. There was a bigger respect for nature and more community involvement, so substance abuse didn't occur like it does today. I believe by 12 years old I was an alcoholic, but quit in my 40s. My brothers and I would steal alcohol and hide out drinking it. My father was an alcoholic, so it was something we saw every day, and so it wasn't really a bad thing in our minds. Everyone was getting drunk then. Growing up, it was common to see pregnant women, mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, cousins getting drunk. We did not see the grandmothers and grandfathers drink though. It's good to educate people about FASD and the lifelong damage to our children. It's also good to see less people choosing to drink. Fetal alcohol spectrum disorder results from drinking alcohol during pregnancy. When I was growing up, my father was an alcoholic. He died of a heart attack when I was 13 because of his drinking. My poor mother at that time didn't drink. That started after my dad's death. My mom was left with five kids, no money, and no help. It was a struggle for all of us. When I was young and on my own, I started using. Fortunately, when I became pregnant, I stopped all pollutants. I was blessed with a baby boy. Because of my upbringing, I never wanted to use or drink around my two sons. I know how hard it can be to stop using when you are so uncertain and so unhappy. Having a healthy baby is worth the world, and there are programs now that can help you. God bless you all, and please ask for help if you need it. Up to three generations of lives are affected when you drink while pregnant. Pregnancy is sacred. Our heritage is sacred. For a strong future generation, no alcohol during pregnancy is the best choice.